all right, I got to do this. I don't want to just come on YouTube and talk about nothing. It just doesn't move me. Now, right now, I may be talking about nothing, but overall, I don't want to talk about nothing, even though I talk about nothing quite a lot. So the whole point I'm trying to make is, for me, I like to talk, I like to interact with people who have something to say. Now, I know there's all type of things to say, and I know there's going to be like just talk, you know, but usually when I want to do something, it's because um, I hope I hope to interact with you. So YouTube, for me, is really fun. Now, I understand the business aspect of it. I really do. Hey, come follow me and help me get watch time and let's make some money. I get that. I'm not mad at that at all. But me, um, I just can't really... I don't want to do that. It's my heart gets in my way. I have like a lot of friends. Ah, well, and they're always thinking business first. And I get that. I, you know, you have to eat. You got to survive. But I can't like sell stuff that I don't believe in. If I have no love for it, or it's not something that I think will improve your life, I'm not trying to offer you. Like if people want to support me about something, if they just think, Charles, you put out great content. We just want to help you keep doing it and help you so you can do more what you do. Then I'm all for that. But if you want Charles, just me to... uh sell a product that I don't like, I can do it. I'll be like, yeah, buy this product, it's nice. That'd be it. What do you think about it? Uh, I don't give a shit, but you can buy it. So that's what kills me, is that sometimes people want you to sell stuff that you have absolute, absolutely no no touch with it just for the, the capitalist system just to get your money. So let me tell you, um, I'm going to bottle my spit. You know, <laughs> buy some of Charles' saliva. You can, you can get some of my DNA here. Don't commit no crimes with it. And you know, I want a piece of Charles. Oh, Charles. So I can just put it in a bottle. You can buy my spit. <laughs> now I might sell that because I'm pretty passionate about me and my saliva. <laughs> but um, you get what I'm saying? Like, like, what's the point? I want to sell something. Well, my spit will improve your life. You know, you get some of my DNA and who knows what happens. You might get a little, little genius kid come out and be like, hey, you know, you clone me. A little, 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 little clone of Chuck. I'm like, you don't give a rat's ass. You know what I mean? What happened on the butch? Come here, girl. Hey, I got a tongue for you. You know, you might have something like that. But in general, I can't sell you something that I have no passion or feeling for. And this is wrong with me, of course, I will say it. I am just not like the most angriest dude. I, I can, this is going to sound contradictory. I can hurt you. Oh, don't get it twisted. I have no problem <laughs> taking joy off of not hurting you how you think, but you know, if I had to, then I can do it. And I wouldn't be like, oh my God, I hurt you. No, I would never be like that. But that's not what I want to do. I want to love you. I want to come and squeeze it. You know what I mean? I want to come, come here. You know, so sometimes I'm going off on a tangent for me. If I have no passion about something, you won't see me trying to offer it to you. You won't hear me saying, buy these socks. They say CG3. You walk around and have a fun with CG3 socks. So, you know, <laughs> put the sock, put my name on it, and be like, you smell my ass. You know, feet smell like ass. I'm joking. I don't know. But that's what I'm saying. I have to, I'm not, for me, I'm not, not that I would be opposed to you giving me money. Because if somebody would give me some money, I'd, I'd be like, well, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. But it's not my, I don't want to take your money. I want to give you something in return. I want to, I want to give something that's super beneficial to your life. And this is, that's the conflict I go through. Um, I'm not trying to quote unquote hustle you, but I know it's all about the hustle. So Charles, you need to be out the hustle. You got to hustle them. Got to hustle them. You know, I'm a hustler, but I'm not trying to hustle you. I'm trying to get you to, to like me and want to interact with me. And, um, <laughs> this is gonna sound funny. I want you to capitulate your money to me. Just, just, just you know, just, just say, hey, blessings to be upon you. Blessings. <laughs> You're fortunate. <laughs> That's what I want for people. So, you know what? <sighs> I said all I say, man. I, I, I can't come on here and say nothing, even though I probably just said nothing, a lot of nothing that made a lot of sense saying nothing. But this is me. This is what I do. I give you. I give you me, baby. And if you don't like me, <laughs> then don't like me. Give me a thumbs down. <laughs> well, I'm done. Whew, I feel great. That was like a little passionate, you know, a little passionate me giving it, giving you a little bit of my soul. But, I'm, you know, that's the difference. I'm always giving. This is me all the time. If you get into a one-on-one -on -one interaction with me, you're like, oh, my God. Especially if you're late. You're like, oh, my God, I'm negative. I didn't mean to be. Oh my, this, but this feels so good. Oh, give me my, my, I, can't, I can't put my clothes back on. I can't. Where did they go? My panties go. I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, people. Have a great one. <laughs>